All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing Spiel Day 3, Artificial Pen Tool Challenge. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to add some texture to it. We're going to make our drawings look even more realistic. So here's what we're going to do. Let's start off with this project. So we have the cherry. We want to make it look as real as possible. Here is the Here are the original cherries right there. So we're going to add some texture to this. This looks pretty good, but we're going to add some texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my original outline. So I had this guy right here. Okay. Um, and I'm going to work on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of it. Okay, I'm going to make a copy of it. And where is it at? All right, there it is. And so I'm going to call this a good name that makes sense. So Cherry 2, and I'm going to call this Cherry Texture. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it with some color. And so I'm going to go ahead and I will click on it. And I'm going to go to the colors, and I'm going to fill it. Well, let's just go with let's just go with one of the colors we have here. Let's just go with that color right there. So we're gonna fill it with the color, and then the, I'm gonna go to effects. So I'm gonna go to effect, artistic, and I'm gonna go to sponge. Okay, and let's see what it does. Let's see if this works or doesn't work. And let's take a look. So that's what it's gonna do to give it a little bit of texture. So let's let's play around with the brush size. Let's play around with the definition. Actually, more definition. There we go. Something like that. And then let's see what this does. That's probably good right there. We're going to click OK. All right, so we have, so it's going to apply that effect to our cherry. OK, you can see it there. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag it up on top of this guy. Right there. So at first you're not going to see it, cause it so he's underneath it. But let's drag this layer on top of our cherry layer. Okay, so I have th these two layers. I'll turn that off. All right, so I have these two layers that I'm working with. Here's the layer with the texture from the sponge. And then there I turn that off. There's a layer underneath. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this guy. And then I'm going to go to Window. And I'm going to turn on my transparency. Oh, it's already on. So I'm going to turn on transparency. Here it is. And I'm going to change the transparency. So let's go from normal. I played around with it. Let's go to um, Lighten. Let's see what happens. So if I go to lighten, let's see what that looks like. It's going to do it, and let's see if it's good or bad. Okay, that adds. That's pretty good. That's not great though. So we can uh, adjust the opacity and play around with the opacity until we get it just right. Okay, so that's a little bit better. And then we might on this one try some different things. We could uh, actually try try soft light and see what that does. Let's see which one looks better. Okay, that's I like that one better. And let's go back and change the opacity to 100. Okay, so you can see how I've added some nice texture to this thing to make it look even more realistic. Okay, so that's good. Now, some of you did something uh, more like an orange, and so here's what we're going to do with the with the orange. Okay, so let's pretend that this thing is an orange, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we're going to go through the sit. We'll turn this off. Okay, so we're back to this. All right, let's go. Let's go back to our original outline. Okay, so we're going to go to this thing, we're going to do the same thing, we're going to make a copy of it. Okay, um, and we're going to call this orange. Okay, so we're going to call it orange texture, we click OK. We're going to fill this one with, I don't know, I don't know what to fill it up. Let's, try, let's just try the red for now and see what happens. So let's go up here, this might be a bad idea, might have to redo the whole the whole thing. Alright, so we're going to go here, and so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Effect, we're going to go to Artistic, and we're going to go to Sponge. Okay, and we'll see what that does. That's probably about right, and we're going to click OK. So far it's about the same. Okay, and so now we're going to click on it again, and we're going to go to Effect, and we're going to go to Artistic, and now we're going to go to uh, Plastic Wrap. There it is. Okay, so you can see this gives it a very interesting texture, so I'm going to click OK, and again, I'm going to move this thing up. Okay, so I'm going to move this thing up right there, right there underneath it. Okay, and so there it is. So now what we're going to do is this. 
So what? So there is the orange texture underneath it. Okay, and what we're going to do on this guy, which you didn't see that I did it, so I'm going to click on this guy, I'm going to select him, and then I'm going to change his transparency to hard light. Okay, so on this one, the gradient is on top, this guy is underneath, and I changed the gradient layers, I changed this guy's um, transparency to hard light. By the way, oh, I didn't say this. So, <coughs> when you change something's transparent opacity, it makes it see-through. Okay, when you change its blending mode, it changes how it deals with all the stuff underneath it. Okay, so anyway, there's two ways to do it. Let's take a look at our our uh, PowerPoint, and we're going to answer some questions. Okay, so answer these questions. What what do the effects artistic do? What does the transparency, and by that what I mean is the opacity do? When you change the opacity, what does it do? And then finally, what does the blending mode do? Answer those questions, and I'm going to quiz you on them later. Ready, go.